and I hereby declare to the Pokémon of the world, I will be a Pokémon Master! Pokémon Master! That is what I'll- Ash, get to bed! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 things Pokemon wants you to forget about Ash. Ash, wait! You gotta stop right now! <laughs> For this list, we're looking at the most embarrassing, problematic, or downright head scratching moments Ash would prefer you didn't remember. Did you forget about any of these? Let us know in those comments, and if there's another Pokemon list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo and let me know. Number 10. Pidgeot's Last Flight Ash has accrued quite the deep bench of pocket monsters over the years. Ready for takeoff! <laughs> Naturally, he's had to let a few go, but most of them are left in Professor Oak's care. Or in the case of Pidgeot, left in Pellet Town with a promise Ash will return for it one day. Maybe it's a good idea if you stay here for a while and make sure the other Pokémon are safe, okay, Pidgeot? <sighs> we'll be back as soon as we get Professor Oak's Pokéball! Except, half a dozen regional leagues later, he's yet to fulfill his end of the bargain. For a trainer who preaches about genuine bonds with his partners, it's inexcusable that he's pretty much abandoned one of his very first captures. To this day, Pidgeot's may be pitched in a tree, waiting for a trainer that's clearly forgotten about it. <coughs> Viga, Viga! <coughs> Number 9. Bye Bye Butterfree Again After Pikachu, Caterpie was the very first Pokémon Ash had ever befriended. He raised the little creature all the way into a Butterfree, and that bond led to one of the series' most heartfelt farewells. In fact, it's so moving that it makes you forget Ash tried to get rid of it just a few episodes prior. On the SSN, the wannabe Pokémon Master is easily manipulated into trading away one of his oldest companions. Here we go! He later changes his mind, but the fact he parted ways with Butterfree at all is downright cruel. This is a great Butterfree, so take care of it for me. <laughs> kind of puts their future farewell into a different light. Goodbye, Butterfree! I'll always remember you! Number 8. Ash Forgot Strength One of Pokémon's cardinal rules is that the field move a gems can't be forgotten easily, but Ash somehow found a way around that. In his journey across Hoenn, he learned strength to help a Bagon who was drifting down the river. Jump on the slug and get out of there! <laughs> okay, not literally the HM, but that's the only way we can explain this. But by the time he made it to Alola, he'd apparently replaced that move with something else. A large group of Rattata and Raticate were eating everything in the field, and during their escape, they raced across the road, causing all of this. As embarrassing as it is to watch him struggle to lift a log, it's even worse because we've seen him perform much greater feats in the past. Either the franchise has lost all sense of internal logic, or Ash's muscles have gone through some atrophy somewhere between regions. Hey, let me help! Me too! Thank you both very much. Number 7. An Absent Father Parenting is tough, but surely Ash's dad could have squeezed in a visit at some point in the past 25 years. Despite some notable references and plenty of fan theories, he's yet to officially appear in the series. They don't talk about him in the past tense or reference any sort of falling out, which makes his continued absence even more confusing. Looking at the two of you, I started thinking about my own dad. It's not like phones don't exist in the Pokemon world. It took your father four days to get there when he started Pokemon training. Even as Ash competed and won various regional leagues, he didn't so much as receive a text from his father. At this point, it would make more sense if Ash's dad just didn't exist at all. Number 6. Perennial 10-Year-Old At this rate, Pikachu will retire before Ash has a birthday. The Pallet Town Prodigy was introduced in the very first episode of the series as an eager 10-year-old boy. And now that I'm 10, I can finally get my Pokémon license! Now 1,200 episodes deep, 
he's still 10. So, you decided to show up after all. To put that into perspective, kids born after the anime's debut could now be twice as old as Ash's now. It's not like the series intentionally takes place over a few months either. Ash has traveled eight regions, gathered over 50 badges, and got into more battles than there are Pokemon. Unless Celebi and Dialga are involved, there's just no way all this happened in under a year. We have two 10-year-old research fellows joining us for today's featured story. And here they are now. Number five, Coughing Who? Ash already has a spotty track record identifying Jesse and James. But what's even more baffling is that he doesn't recognize their Pokemon either. Coffee. The ineffective Team Rocket grunts use the exact same toxic pair of Ekans and coughing against Ash hundreds of times throughout their journey. Coughing, sludge attack now! Coughing! But when Pikachu's trainer went up against Roxy in Unova, he still had to flip out his Pokédex to recognize Coughing. <sighs> Coughing, the poison gas Pokémon. Coughing hovers in the air thanks to the poisonous gases it contains. It's not like the floating gas bubble doesn't leave a smelly impression. For someone who's devoted his life to catching them all, Ash sure has trouble remembering basic information about Pokémon. Number four, super effective slash not very effective. This dopey trainer may have more in common with his partners than he thinks. Over the course of Ash's journey, he's had more than a few run-ins with a thunderbolt and a poison tail. And a lot of moves actually, but it appears the hyperactive 10-year-old has his own share of type coverage since he'll occasionally shrug off the attacks like they were a string shot. So I want to be your friend! <laughs> but other times, like against Mewtwo, he'll literally die. Oh, no! The only explanation is that, much like any Pokemon, Ash has his own resistances and weaknesses. Except in this case, inconsistent writing isn't just super effective, it's a one-hit KO. Number three, locked lips with a Latias. For the entire duration of this film, a major plot point involves the legendary Eon Pokemon transforming into a copy of a human, Bianca. It only becomes a problem when, right before the credits roll, she runs up and gives Ash a peck on the cheek. Ugh. The quick and dirty show of affection leaves no room to verify whether it was the real Bianca or not. Honestly, we don't know what's weirder, that a legendary Pokemon may have just kissed Ash, or that no one seems fazed by it in the slightest. <laughs> For peace of mind, we'll convince ourselves that this was the real Bianca. This kiss is better left forgotten either way. Number two, the lesser incident. Ash's lack of rudimentary Pokemon knowledge is unfortunately nothing new. Even though he's had trouble against plenty of gym leaders in the past, he has the gall to think he can defeat a lesser with just a single Pokemon. Palpatone, I choose you! Predictably, it didn't go well. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. Does Ash mean he's going to use Palpatode again? Hmm. Then his hasty backup plan features him forgetting that Attract doesn't work on Pokemon of the same gender. Attract didn't work! You're right. By any chance, does your Snivy happen to be a female? <gasps> but the worst part of it all is that he's rewarded for his idiotic behavior with a shiny new gym badge. It's an insult to the entire Unova League and only prove that Ash is in desperate need of some time at the trainer school. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Persimian Dress Up even for a kid with a skull thicker than a Rampados, this is still an impressively bad idea. In an attempt to bond with some local Persimian, Ash has the problematic idea to dress up as one. <laughs> 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 
so he covers his face with black makeup. Really. The incident was then quickly flagged by Western viewers as Ash performing in blackface. It got banned in several countries and became the first episode in eight years to be skipped by the English dub. Clearly, Pokemon didn't just want us to forget this episode, they wanted to ignore it ever happened at all. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.